My name is Natasha Ray Anderson. I own Natasha Ray Illustrates. I create powerful, strong female warriors and animal art prints. I focus on using inks and watercolors. I've, I've started doing art at a very young age. My mom was also an artist and she went to art school and things like that. And so I was actually learning to draw people before I can even write my name. I actually, yes. <laughs> I started really focusing on more warrior art prints when I was going through a very hard medical season where I was having a lot of seizures. I couldn't be left alone because I could have a seizure at any time. And it was such a hard physical, mentally and emotional time for me. And so for me to help pull myself through that, my grandmother would tell me stories about her and her mother and the strength that they had to achieve and grow through their trials. And that helped me realize that strength was in my heritage. And so I decided to start creating these warriors to not just inspire me during the hard times, but also inspire other women who will be going through similar hard times. Quality for all means to me is that we all live in a place where justice and liberation is equal for all. That there's no racial profiling, there's no injustice happening when to different races, or it doesn't matter what language we speak or what our skin tone looks like, that we are all treated equally, that we receive the same justice equally, and that we are all taken seriously and stood up for and defend and just honored. So what I decided to do with my art piece here is that I took the two symbols that we universally know as liberation and justice. So I took Lady Liberty and Lady Justice and combined them into one. And so I have the blind justice where she is blind because it will be justice for all. The sword because it's a swift, quick justice and then the light will light the way in liberation and freedom. And so I decided to combine all that. I used the colors in the dress. I tried to create as many skin tones as possible in the dress to represent all the different skin tone and races. And then throughout the piece, I have equality for all in different languages. I have some um, in English, Latin, Cherokee, um, Vietnamese, Vietnamese, okay. Italian, Spanish, Congolese, and I believe German. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wanted people in Arabic, and I wanted people when they see this piece that they feel like they are included in the equality for all, that they can look on the piece and hopefully see their native language as well stating equality for all. I'm supporting um, Regeneration Indy. They are a organization locally here provides art classes for kids in the inner city of Indianapolis. To me the arts is very important. For me it was used to help cope through such a hard difficult time. It is such a coping skill for young children. A lot of kids process how they think and feel through art. And when schools started taking that away and limiting what kids were learning in school for the arts, it was just very heartbreaking for me. And so when she, Sarah, created this comp uh, this nonprofit, I knew I had to be a part of it. And so I started teaching classes to these kids as well. And the classes are very affordable. I think it's just $5 a class so that anyone can come and learn from a professional artist in the area and grow in their creativity and their expression in art.